Let's do another app design. Instead of a fitness app, let's come up with something else. Perfect. This is great. ADD. Okay. Interesting image. Is this like parts of a dog? Okay. Interesting. I know what I'm going to do. Let's get started. Well, first of all, I've got to get that really good picture of this dog out. So let's just screenshot that. Excellent. And I will chuck it into the assets folder. Okay, so at the top of the screen, we've got this bit of text, but I can't kind of come up with an idea of what it could be. So I'm going to ignore that and we'll just start with the image first. Cool. Is Benji. Let's do a uh, title. Got a little bit of a subheadline text here. Amazing. Okay, on to the next. Looks like we have this big button on the left, so I'm going to go ahead and make that. This will be just a regular text with a capsule background. And we will fill it with this. Ooh, let's do the gradient. Let's go with the gradient. Yeah, that'd be nice. So what I'm going to do here is just drop in a background. I'm going to set the color. I'm going to use this to grab the color picker. And choose the first one. All right, I'm going to take that out. Throw that in there for our gradient. And then add another one grab the other side. Okay. Well, kind of worked. It needs to be rotated. I appears I've used the wrong gradient, so let's just go back and we will set this to a linear gradient, which allows us to set a start point and an end point. So I'll dump those colors there, we'll go with leading, and the end point will be trailing. Even if we update the previews, we will see this gradient change. There's a little bit of text here on the right side. I'm just going to ignore that as well. Uh, while we're here, we'll add some padding. And we will increase the font size. And we shall add some padding. Excellent. 
foreground color looks like it is white. Nice. Okay, under here we have another button. No idea what this one does. And we have another gradient. Uh, Benji's very expensive. Again, we will do the linear gradient. And we have colors, the start point and end point. So we're going leading, going trailing. And our colors, let's check some pattern on there too. Colors we'll need to fetch again. So let's do that. Let's just add a background here and we can reuse that. needs to be lined up so I think what we need to do is add some other padding some padding up there padding here oh that's a bit better great so we'll just add some uh, vertical padding to the inquire button I feel like that text is a little large, so I'm just going to change that to headline. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, on to the next section. Down here we have some text just lined up in the middle there, so let's just throw that in. I'm going to guess that it is plans. Let's call it that. All right, now we've got these two tiles. Instead of building them out within this V-Stack, I'm going to create another view. These are a little bit more trickier to put together, but essentially they're just a V-Stack and they have two rounded rectangles inside them. Let's throw them up here so we can get a better view. The first one's description will have Excellent. In this little section down here, we've got the little icon, so We'll create a H stack. And as you can see, it kind of uh, overhangs a little bit here. 
So to make that happen, we can just pull this back a little bit, right? So yeah, let me just pull that out a little bit. So what we're going to do is throw in a background. It looks like these are gradients as well, so we'll just reuse the one from before. Um, and I think the best method of doing this would be to just copy it out. So what I've done is move the linear gradient to the top of the file so it can be accessible in both the content view and the tile view. So you can see I've got orange gradient here and I've got orange gradient there. And over in our previews, you can see that the little gradient is showing up on the icons. So what I can do here is add a little bit of padding. Yeah, that's pretty good. just fine. Yeah, this is better. And right next to that text, it looks like, well, right next to that image, it looks like we have some text. Hmm, not sure what to put here. Let's add another property. Change all these. That's probably a bit much. Too 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 many uh, zeros. And then under here, we've got our larger button. So we've got the first V stack here. Let's add the next round of rectangle. I guess this can just be the text itself and then we'll just add a background on it. I'm gonna go with orange gradient again, even though both buttons are two different colors. Adding, um, and actually what would be really great is if we set the frame to be full width, right? Fills up that whole area. Great, and let's do an offset. Uh, actually, what we can do is change the spacing up here to zero, and that will reduce this area. There we go. Excellent. Yeah. I like that. Benji will get hired in no time. Okay, so the last part is this little bit of text down the bottom of the screen. That looks like legalese stuff to me, so no one reads it, not important. Let's forget it. 